Hello guys, welcome to BioEd. I am Aman and welcoming you all to a new video on DNA cloning. So guys, in this video tutorial, we'll talk about various different aspects of DNA cloning, how we do DNA cloning and their various types. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So guys, let's know what is DNA cloning. So DNA cloning, as the name suggests, it's the cloning of DNA. That is the production of large number of identical DNA molecules from a single ancestral strand. That is production of large number of identical DNA molecules that are 100% similar uh, to the ancestral DNA molecule. What is ancestral DNA? Ancestral DNA is uh, a DNA that acts as a template upon which the replication occurs. Okay, so the basic characteristic of DNA uh, cloning is that it does selective amplification. That is, uh, if suppose we have a DNA this much long and we want to do a cloning, we can selectively select, uh, we can select the small area of DNA that we want to amplify and this can be used uh, in the process of DNA cloning. That's why it is known as selective amplification. And what is the result? The result is large number of identical DNA molecules we get after DNA cloning. Okay, so this was all a small overview of what is DNA cloning. Now, uh, uh, let me also tell you that DNA cloning is uh, not a really simple step. It involves a lot of rounds of uh, uh, replication of DNA that goes on and with the uh, use of various enzymes such as DNA polymerase and all a whole lot of other things that we'll discuss later in the video. So guys, now let us know what are the different types of DNA cloning that we do. So there are two different types of DNA cloning. First is the cell based and second is the cell free. Okay, as the name suggests, cell based means it requires a cell in which the DNA cloning to occur. Whereas in the cell free DNA cloning, it does not require any cells. That is, it is cell free. It only requires enzymes and a different lot of set of uh, pH, temperature and other things that we'll uh, discuss uh, later in the video. Uh, in the cell based, uh, as the name suggests, cell based, it is an in vivo technique as you must be knowing in vivo technique and this is in vitro technique artificially done this is an in vivo technique and that is an in vitro technique okay so the cell based technique consists of four steps okay so the first step is production of recombinant dna of R DNA. I will write over here as R DNA. This R represents as recombinant DNA. Okay. So what is a recombinant DNA? A recombinant DNA is a DNA that is being transformed. That is, uh, we have a simple uh, replicating DNA, autonomously replicating DNA that can autonomously replicate uh, uh, without being par uh, taking part in the chromosome and can replicate autonomously in the cell okay so uh, what is our dna uh, our dna is an autonomously extra chromosomal replicating dna in which we uh, take our uh, target dna and then combine it with that to form a hybrid that hybrid is known as our dna okay so in this we do the formation of a thing known as chimera okay so this chimera is a hybrid this chimera is a hybrid it is a hybrid of autonomously replicating dna with the target uh, dna that we want okay so basically a chimera can be a vector different type of vectors that will uh, come later in the series like lambda phage m13 vectors or uh, e coli vectors by ac vectors so uh, a basic uh, that uh, definition that i'll tell you what a chimera is suppose this is a uh, replicating vector we take any like pbr322 we take pbr322 we take okay suppose uh, this is a vector how do we form a chimera for this how do we form a rdna uh, what we do is that we remove with uh, some uh, 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 remove a small part of this dna with some enzymes and put our target dna that we want to replicate okay so in this first step what we do is we prepare a recombinant dna in the second step what we do in the second step we do transformation what we do we do transformation what does transformation means transformation means to send to send this recombinant dna into any uh, host cell which can replicate this dna suppose we are sending this into an 
host cell suppose we take it as an e coli so we send it and it will go in the cell like this and it will replicate itself autonomously without uh, disturbing the chromosomal material it will replicate itself and form its uh, large number of clothes the third step what we do is we do the selective propagation okay the third step is selective propagation okay so what we do in the third step that is the selective propagation we do that these cells that are transformed okay so when we send the recombinant dna uh, into uh, any cell so this cell becomes a transformed cell so what we do in this step in the third step of selective propagation what we do we take these transformed cells and take an agar plate on which these cells can grow and we spread them on the surface so that each cell can get separated and make its own well-defined colonies okay and uh, from this selective propagation what we do when they grow we select those cells which have been transformed by various different mechanisms uh, we'll also know that but there are different mechanisms from which we get to know that these cells have been transformed and we can pick them up we can find that these cells have been transformed we can pick them up and we can take and grow them into various different liquid cultures and grow their a lot of copies and as the cell divides a uh, different number of copies they will get and this uh, vector or rdna also replicates and form their clothes okay and in the last step the last step is isolation of rdna that is the recombinant dna this recombinant dna which has been uh, uh, cloned into the cells with a lot of number of copies that have been produced by the cells by their different mechanisms of autonomously replicating the vector uh, we get a large number of copies and we isolate those dna by various different methods and uh, we harvest the cell we harvest the cell and take out the copies okay so this was all overview of how we do the cell based uh, cloning uh, first is the production of recombinant DNA. Second is the transformation we transform. Third is the selective propagation we pro uh, grow the cells. And then the last step. In the last step, what we do is the isolation of our DNA. Okay, so this was uh, all about uh, uh, cell base. Now we'll uh, discuss about what is cell free, cell free DNA cloning. Okay, so uh, I'll give a really short. Uh, uh, note about what is cell free dna cloning as the name suggests it does not require any cell to participate in the dna cloning uh, it is an in vitro process and we do it by the process a very famous process by pcr okay the pcr stands for p stands for polymerase c stands for chain and r stands for reaction polymerase chain reaction okay so in this uh, we use the process of pcr polymerase chain reaction we'll uh, i'll make a separate video on this and i'll also provide the link in the description so you can go and get uh, all the information about this in detail so uh, and a small overview that i can give of pcr is uh, this requires a lot of enzymes and different uh, uh, temperatures and ph uh, environment so that this cell can uh, uh, so that the dna that we want to clone that can clone itself okay it also requires a lot of enzymes and short primers short primers uh, primers are basically a small sequence of dna's that are required to initiate the replication process uh, suppose this is a dna and we want to replicate uh, basically the dna is double stranded so uh, in pcr what we do we take a single standard of dna and we use short primers short primers are short segments of dna that start as initiating complex that helps the uh, dna to so that the dna forms are double strand so that the replication can take place easily so small uh, a lot of short primers are also involved with the enzymes in polymerase chain reaction and it was developed by carimulus k a r y m u l l i s okay so guys this was a, uh, a short video on what is dna cloning what is 
the basic overview of DNA cloning, it type, its types, uh, cell base, cell free and characteristics, how we do and other things. So guys, if you like the video, please drop a like and also subscribe to the channel and uh, hope so you like the video.